In this video, we'll talk about public key cryptography. Before talking about public key cryptography, let's talk about symmetric key cryptography. Symmetric key cryptography requires the sender and the receiver to know a shared secret key. The biggest question that arises is how to agree on a key in the first place, particularly if the sender and the receiver have never met. So, in 1976, Divi and Hellman proposed a radically different approach. It's called public key cryptography. In this approach, the sender and the receiver do not share a, sip, a secret key. The public encryption key is known to all, that is, it's publicly posted. The private decryption key is known only to the receiver. So let's see how this works with an example. Let's assume that Alice wants to send a message to Bob. So the plain text message of Alice is M. What Alice does is she takes Bob's public key, which is denoted by KB+, uses her encryption algorithm and creates a ciphertext, which is KB+, with M within parenthesis. When Bob receives this ciphertext, he applies his private key, which is KB-, negative, on KB-, positive M, and he gets the original message M. Note that as the private key of Bob is known only to Bob, no other person can actually decode the cipher text. So to create a public key cryptography system, what are the requirements? The key requirement is that K be positive and K be negative. These two functions, that, that is the encryption and the decryption algorithms, when they work together on the message M, they produce the original message M. The second important requirement is that the public key and the, the private key should not be related. What do I mean by that? That is given a public key KB plus, it should not be possible for an intruder Trudy to be able to compute the private key KB negative. So the public key is known to all. There should be under no circumstance should Trudy, the intruder, be able to generate Bob's private key. Now, how do we achieve this? We achieve this through the RSA algorithm. We'll discuss the algorithm in a later video. Thank you.